Moms, I want to encourage you a lot today. Today, uh, fearlessness is on my heart. And I want to talk about a mom I met recently, uh, just a few years ago. Her name's Kelly Brown. And uh, Kelly Brown has got to be one of the most fearless human beings I've ever met in my life, as she has faced tragedy after tragedy. But she has Psalms 27, verse one in her heart. Uh, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? You know, Kelly was met uh, with tragedy a few years ago when her dear husband, Adam Brown, was fighting as a Navy SEAL in Afghanistan. And there, uh, in one of their battles that they had to fight, um, Adam took his fearless heart into the battle and he took the fearless assignment of making one last heroic move to take out a, a very uh, horrible, horrible leader who was killing so many innocent uh, Afghans and so many Americans. And Adam took this last minute fearless move. And in his last minute fearless move, uh, Adam was consumed by gunfire and was killed instantly. Unfortunately, they left Kelly home without a husband and he left 10-year-old Nathan and eight-year-old Savannah home without a dad. And so uh, I was able to wrap my arms around that little family and um, become best friends, especially with Nathan over the next few years and, and had a chance to just walk with Nathan through uh, junior high and high school uh, at Kanakuk and through you know some discipleship calls that we had over the years. What a great, precious family. But even though their daddy was gone, the fearlessness of their dad also had infiltrated the, uh, the, the heart of fearlessness in the kids as they continue to walk fearlessly with their Savior. And moms, that's what happens through the, the fearless heart of a mom. And so as, as Adam was fearlessly dedicated to his uh, Savior and fearlessly uh, d dedicated to his SEAL team, so is the Word of God. It, you know, infiltrates the heart of a mom. You know, it gives us fearlessness to step into the difficult battles uh, as, as single moms, and as working moms, and as moms of needy uh, children step into the battle uh, every day when we get out of bed. You know, if Adam was here today, I think that Adam would bring us the words where Scripture encourages you moms and it says, the Lord is on my side. Whom shall I fear? And so thinking about that great verse and meditating on it all day long, the Lord is on my side. The Lord is on my side. Whom shall I fear? Um, so the questions that I would uh you know, want to just, you know, kind of bounce around with you today as you think about them within yourself or you think about them as a friend. And so for our questions to think about today within our own meditation or maybe with a friend, go back to our starting uh, verse in Psalms 27, 1, where David says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the defense of my life. Whom shall I dread? And so in thinking about that, and how it gives you fearlessness. How does your fearlessness grow in direct proportion with the closeness of your relationship with your shepherd of heaven above and the shepherd that lives in your heart? And then the second question goes from the next verse where David said, when evildoers came upon me to devour my flesh and my adversaries, my enemies came and they stumbled and fell, Though a host, a, a, a herd encamp against me, my heart will not fear. David said, the war arise against me. In spite of this, I shall be confident. And so, moms, if you use the metaphor of the shepherd and his flock, where would you as a lamb position yourself in the herd of the predator who might approach through social media? or through somebody else's negative talk about you, or for something you hear on television that brings up angst, or maybe a phone call from the school counselor. As you, as you, as you get these different enemies that march against you, uh, how does that verse apply to your walk with Jesus? How does your closest with Him give you fearlessness in the different enemies that seem to surround you as a mom every day? 
Thank you so much for sharing the devotional time with me today, and I hope your heart is encouraged as mine is as I share.